Hey guys, this is Lucky from Necromunati bringing you a video tutorial on the Galil AR. So pretty much what I'm going to go over is how to burst, how to tap, how to spray, how to out aim your enemy, how to how to wall things, etc. So first thing I'm going to show you is the spray pattern when you're holding down mouse one with the gun. And what you're going to see here is that the gun is going to go up, or the first three or four bullets are going to stay where your crosshair is positioned, then it's going to go up, go to the right, and then go back and forth from right to left, right to left. So I'm going to show you how that looks to show impacts, and this is pretty much what it looks like. Um, in terms of spraying with this weapon before I even get started on things, I don't really like it. I don't recommend it. I always have pretty much mixed results with it. I can either kill somebody or I feel like the guy should be dead because my crosshair is positioned pretty much on his head and his body, and he didn't die, not even hit him once. So spraying and tapping, pretty much the most effective thing. Um, now I'm going to show you how to control your burst, or your spray, sorry. So what you want to do here is centralize your, your crosshair to one point and make sure you have really, really good precise mouse control. So when your gun goes up, you want to move it down. When your gun goes to the left, you want to move it right, etc. So what I do here is pretty much centralize my, my spray to one part of the, one part, one part of the wall, I guess, because there's no person here but I'm kind of messed up, messed up a little bit. So, again, centralize your bullets to one location. Make sure that you have proper bullet management because the gun does only have 35 bullets. Actually, it has more bullets than the AK, so you're good in terms of that, but the gun does, does run out of bullets pretty quickly. So, always look at your bullets when you're shooting down somebody. So, right now what I'm gonna show you is tapping, penetration, with tor from, from boxes and stuff like that, how much damage it does, and pretty much anything around those lines. So, tapping, pretty straightforward. The bullets pretty much go where I want them to. They don't like stray away and skyrocket to the sky. Um, spraying, same, same concept. They don't, again, go to the sky or like go all the way down to the deep depths of hell. Um, when you're sp when you're bursting and tapping, always make sure to AD, AD. AD, AD, or A, move, D, move, A, move, etc. That way your opponent that's shooting you back can't really, has a harder time hitting you. And tapping, same thing. When you're tapping, you can just pretty much move in little small intervals because then your aim is still accurate, but if you're like moving, you see your gun goes all over the place. But if you're just doing like quick ADs, as you can see, I'm still moving, but my bullets are pretty much staying in one one spot. Um, now for walling and spamming, like stuff like that, Galil can't spam through boxes, like the side of boxes. As you can see, I went to the other side of the wall, like that. Um, but I just recently learned that it does exactly 13 or 14 damage for every for every bullet through a wall um so what that means is that if you're let's say on dust 2 and there's a guy behind the door um shooting like one bullet would do 13 damage to him so always make sure to shoot like nine or ten bullets if you know he's there and you know you're hitting him because then that guarantees a kill so again you could only shoot through sides of boxes i'm pretty sure you can't shoot through a full entire box yeah you can't you can't shoot through a full entire box pretty sure with the ak you can but like i said Always make sure to subside the boxes because it will penetrate the box. Um, now, as for this gun over other guns, AK M4, A4, and the M4 A1, and the FAMAS, I personally like a lot better than the Galil. Um, sometimes with the Galil, I feel like I'm shooting somebody, they don't die. I feel like my crosshair is on them, but again, I do you know damage. So. With every other gun, I feel like I have more, I have better results, and with this gun, I feel like it's, it's vice versa. I don't have as much good, as many good results as I do with the other weapons that I use. So, anyways, now for the second part of this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to do this against bots. I'm going to go over, every, I'm going to go over everything that I just showed: how to spray down bots, how to um, shoot against them, how to burst, tap, crouch, movement, etc. So, I'm going to turn off show impacts. And I'm going to execute my bots. Go, my and give myself a galil. 
So, um, I can't put this bot thing, by the way. I generally warm up using bots. I feel like it's a lot better. I don't know. I, I like playing against people that don't shoot me back because I'm just trying to improve my aim and trying to improve or just warm up my, my hand so that I can um, just shoot people down if it's cold and it's really bad. So, I'm going to show you the tapping portion first. So, tapping pretty straightforward. It's pretty accurate. You shoot the head, they die. They die. The first one or two bullets, or the first three or four bullets of the galil when you're shooting, they like move up a little bit. So, <coughs> I mean, they're pretty accurate. So you want to always aim for the head. Okay, I'm kind of bad, but yeah, I'm pretty bad. So, anyways, anyways, always aim for the head with the galil. Person, that is person. Head's most effective. Um, now for distances like this, tapping and bursting, most effective type of type of shooting. For extremely long distances, tapping's really good. But for distances like this or something like that, you can also burst. Actually, any distance for bursting and tapping is really effective. Bursting and tapping are not effective in distances like that where the bot just was. So like, if I'm this close, never burst or tap. <coughs> because you... If you miss and the opponent man just like hit your head or something, you're gonna die in between bursts. So, spring down. Best thing you could possibly do. Alright, what not to do with this gun is never, never, ever, 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 ever spray this far. Because you may get lucky, you may get a kill, but. Nine times out of ten, you'll miss and you won't kill the guy. So, I generally, I actually tried killing that guy and I couldn't do it. And I'm, I probably pay the price for it because if I'm shooting him and he doesn't die and he knows I'm here and I'm spraying him down, I won't have time to react to him and he'll have time to react to me and I'll be, and I'll have less bullets than he does. So, if we get into a huge firefight, I'm going to probably lose. So. Sorry, this bot was pissing me off. As you can see, the spammable thing is pretty effective. So, distances like these, burst. Always, always burst or tap and move. Because if you're this far, your opponent's going to have trouble hitting you too. And moving, uh, pretty much make it make his life a living hell. So that's pretty much it in terms of how to use the gun, how to how to when to spray, when not to spray, when to tap, when not to tap, when to burst, when not to burst, etc. So um, pretty much have gone over all the basics. Now what you guys need to do is just go into DM server, practice with the gun, learn how to spray, learn the the spray pattern, make sure you can control your mouse properly, make sure you know how to just just overall kill people with the weapon because it is hard to learn I, I think it's a lot harder than the AK and the M4 to use because like I said it's random and you need to practice it so anyways thanks guys for watching this video this is Lucky from Necromanati bringing you a AK weapon or a little weapon